Hi there. This is a spotlight review by Headliner. Um, we're looking at Teletone Audio today. A pretty new company, doing some very cool stuff. Great instrument plugins. One of which I've had some time with, which is Postcard Piano, um, and the other is Scarbo, which literally came out a couple of days ago, and I've just purchased um, at the discount rate for the first 48 hours. So it gives you an idea. Obviously, with reviews, we get a lot of NFRs, uh, not for resale, so we can have a look at these, review them, and put the content out. But I'm, I'm that keen on this company and what they're doing. I just purchased these uh, straight up. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I think it's a brilliant company. So let's see how it all sounds. Um, first of all, I'm just going to, I've got a few channels here, a few tracks. Um, I'm just going to bring up, um, I haven't recorded anything yet, but this is the piano. Um, as you can see on here, you've got, well, 1920, 1958, 69, 74, and then some other bits and pieces here. I'm just going to show you some of the sounds that can be achieved here. We'll start with 1920, and, you, and then you, I'll show you the GUI as well. So it's a nice old with noise, and quite literally with noise, you can add the noise. Look at this. And how much you want it to be mono or stereo. And if we move this, you'll feel that image start. You've got your tube setting here, that's on pretty high as it comes. These are kind of presets, but you just start working with them. Great reverbs. I'm just going to flick through a few. This is the 1958 one. And what you've also got here is the, <laughs> the sustain pedal noise. Um, composers like Oliver Arnold's, uh, Niels Fram, these guys uh, that, that would have an amazing mic set up on their pianos, and you'd hear this. That's me actually hitting the pedal. That's pretty. So people are really actually using this, utilizing. I think the composers themselves. We spoke to Oliver about this once. They found it quite comical, but equally, it's great. You know, I think that's fantastic. So, and you can also change your room size. So let's go for a large room. Take the noise down. I'm actually going to go to a 1970. Um, it's the 1974 piano, which I really like. Um, and this is as it comes. Okay. I just feel that so, it's got a bit of compression to it. And with that, let's put some tube into it. A bit of thickness there. Really, really nice. And obviously we can go a lot wider. Let's go, if we can go really wide stereo, which is overkill, but you get your headphones on, you'll, you'll hear this. Really, really nice. Um, the noise, it's probably not for me, if I'm honest, but it's great at what it does, because a lot of people want noise on it. So, oh, actually, that does sound good. If you hear that, it's like the sea rolling in. I had a bit of fun with the arpeggiator on this as well. shouldn't have told you that was an arpeggio so you thought god he plays so well um and amazingly in time uh, not the case i'm should add um yeah so that you get the idea let's get that noise down a bit it's not my mic chain there you go um so you get the idea here you've also got the a oh the wow this is great so if you put this on here as well let's have a listen to this oh arpeggios are off <laughs> That 
lovely kind of tapey analog sound and you've got sensitivity as well of course um immediately noticeable actually and again this is not a weighted keyboard which is why i wanted to show the quality of it just with this i couldn't believe how playable the akai was this little akai um unbelievable so i can't actually wait till i've got my uh fully weighted uh keyboard through this so very very impressive you've also got if you keep going um, there's some other bits and pieces here. The setting's nice, anyway. We widen that room. Add some reverb here. Let's go church, go big. That's a nice reverb, that. So you really can get that kind of, it's like a, great for scoring, I would think, really good for scoring little films or, or features, of course, that, that, you know, this could go, this is a quality, quality product. So I love this thing. Um, a couple more bits. Oh, bad cable. Says, <laughs> now that sounds like the sea, doesn't it? That's fantastic. Wow. Okay, so one note, this is okay. What a little journey that one note can give you. Let's put the tube in on that. You're down the seaside here. A dark day at the seaside. Very, very nice. Um, and then another one here. More of a swell, really clever swell sound, actually. Oh, well, if I'm just holding this down, if I hold an entire chord, let's just do a C with an E bass or something. Nice chord. And hit, hit all the elements in here. Really, really, really good. Um, so a creative tool here, no doubt about it. Doppelganger, what's this? Oh. I wonder what that sounds like with the arpeggiator on. Cool, very cool. Um, so lots of creativity, lots of creative options here. Oh, I haven't tried this before. Grime bass, right, okay, let's see. Let's go down an octave as well. Maybe take off the arpeggiator. Very, very cool. And there again, the pedal noise at the end. When you release your foot from the sustain, it's amazing how accurate that is. Um, so, yeah. it's Oh, memory. Let's have a look at this. Again, just another very wide sound. I could go on forever here, but... Almost paddy there, really. Um, and you can keep going down, but th that's a good amount of them. Maybe we pluck piano. Refraction there. Well, Sirens is very nice, actually. Let's play a little bit of this. Maybe if I play correctly. It's a lovely tremolo vibe there. play with the modulation wheel here as well.
terrific. Um, and yeah, the, the spring piano is nice too. <laughs> That's really cool. Now that, we must do the arpeggios with that. Really, really cool. Really great, great samples, great sounds. Brilliant, brilliant product. Oh, the underwater. We must just have a little listen to that one quickly. So if we now put this underwater with some even more watery sounding reverb, go into the hall. Very, very cool. Really great product. Um, and as I'm here, let's just have the last one then. Warm cashmere. Oh, some lovely uh, wow on that. Yeah, just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's a great product. I would say postcard piano is um I mean I can't remember exactly how much it is, but it isn't it isn't expensive for what it is. Um you only need uh yeah, you you do need, sorry, you do need the full contact, um, not just contact play. I mean that is the only if there was a downside, you know, it's an amazing piano sound, it's an amazing piano instrument, but you do need the full contact package. So just the player won't cut it, unfortunately. You might get away with it in demo mode for half an hour or an hour, and then it just cuts off. So, yeah, um, you will need the full thing. But if you're into just picking up cool instruments, this is a great one. So, okay, that's that. Let's um, let's move that away for a second. Scarbo. Get the instruments up, and here they are. And what we will do is run through them. So I've got a slight tension in here. This is the first one. Just drop that down in case that peaks. Just going to drop it down on the door a little bit. Really interesting pad. So let's have a look here. We've got modulation, which is here. Let's see what that does. And then I'm going to play around with less, more. This is the mood button. So it's modulation, mood and movement um, and expression. But these mood and movement are the key, really. So let's see what happens if I kick that modulation up. And we're going to move it to the start from the bottom here. Very cool. Okay, let's have a look at movement then. That's great. And you've got your attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release down the bottom here. Some fairly standard kind of um, kind of controls. Let's move through these then. Bass pillow. Wow. Well, okay. See the mood on that. So it gives you that aggression. It's like driving a compressor, isn't it? With some distortion. <laughs> A bit like the noise on the piano, in fact, in the, in the other plugin. And this kind of has some remnant, sort of reminiscent. It's reminiscent, I should say, of a kind of a tremolo that sensitivity. But you can do all sorts with it. Everything just drives, basically. The more you seem to hit it. Um, now look at that. Let's go down. 
an octave. So I'm just going to, and look at this here, right, what's this? <laughs> so they've taken out that knob, so on that, there's no, that's really cool, isn't it? Next to mood here, if you see here, that one does not apply for blunt fork bass, doesn't, will not compute, okay. Oh yeah, so if you're holding the keys down here, it's moving them together, the notes. Let's try playing around with some of this. Faster attack there, yep. Yeah. Okay, so you can see it's another amazing sound palette, this. Um, let's just move through a few. Well, there, well, let's record something. I immediately wanted to do that now. Okay, we're going to try recording with this, see what happens. That's a pretty wild sound. Um, bit of rhythm. Let's try this. The whole idea is you can put some kind of soundtrack together quickly. definitely adding attention. This is called Centipede on Ice and I just lay left as it was, kind of didn't want to mess with it too much because obviously these presets are going to be very good. I'm just going to hold it here. Okay. All right, there we go. So we can build a little bit on this. Let's see what we can do with it. So there's, there's another track there. Okay, so let's try something with this bass pillow then. Remember the chords I put in. Let's see. Let's see what happens. have a go at that <laughs> i'm gonna do i quantize it or not i mean it's not perfectly played but let's see what happens let's uh it will be good enough for now That's cool. Whoa. Sometimes MIDI plays up a little. Well, there you go. I mean, there's there's a few tracks here. But something maybe with a bit more... Um, let's see if we can find some high-end. I've got to try the... I've got to try the arpeggios, haven't I? I 
I think it's going to be absolute overkill, but I've got to try it. Mm. Oh. Let's try. Let's try. happy with that just for the sake of it let's bring up that piano and see if we can add to it a little let's try the warm cashmere then let's keep it a warm cashmere just going to play around a little here oh maybe not record oh why not It's not half bad, actually, is it? So, I mean, I'm, I'm just really impressed by... I mean, let's have a look, another little look through Scarbo. Um, so let's look at... Uh, just go through a few of these. I mean... Okay, and just see what they can do here with the, with the mood. That's definitely why... That's definitely getting some width. Get the modulation up. Yeah, some extra stuff going on there. Go through a few more. See one saying Hornet Unrest there. So we'll get to that in a minute. It's very nice. Oh, there's the Hornets. Great for horror. I would imagine this is great for horror. Which I am always frightened of any horror, to be honest, but... Oh, yeah. Let's bring that down a couple of octaves. That's really cool. Really cool. Um, 
Oh, that's the widest I've felt so far. So let's have a look at that. Okay. That's fantastic. Interesting filtering you can get there. Very, very cool. Um, and that's not a lovely after after kind of taste to it. That's fantastic. Very, very nice. Um, so I'll listen to this and what we can do with that. Really excellent. And what about with the movement up? gets your rhythm going there. of its own. Okay. The studio is renowned for being slightly haunted, but uh, that was odd. It just started playing itself and I wasn't near the keyboard, but there you go. Anyway, um, yeah, nice way to finish then maybe. that is. It just shows you again, as I thought when I put, purchased this today, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Um, I got this. I think the, the retail is $89. So what, 60 quid, something like that, for the UK. Um and it's 20% off um, with a special uh, code. I think the code is capitals, thank you, all one word, which is for about another day. So probably won't catch it by the time you watch this. But it, either way, $89 for something, for a palette like this. Great rhythmic stuff in there. There's some brilliant um, pads, lovely instruments. And of course, the Teletone um, piano uh, that we talked about earlier, just to remind you of that, which is... a. Uh, here, I believe. Yeah, the postcard piano. Um, what they've done here, you know, in that half hour or so, 40 minutes that I've had, or whatever, stuck with this, uh, working on this track, that's now become something I'd really quite like to work on. Um, but that's that's just come out of, out of nothing, really, which shows the level of creativity um, that you that it, that it gives you, uh, that it offers. So I think there's a lot to be said for um, this, this company. I think what they're doing is really exciting. I would definitely say check Teletone out. They are a tremendous, um, tremendous virtual instrument creator, and they put love and uh, and, and passion into it. And, it, and it's obvious. And it, it, these are inspiring instruments. Hopefully, that showed you a little bit today. But I can tell you as well from the first time I got a hold of that piano, of the postcard piano, I was writing um, and playing this twenty-five key Akai um, like it was a proper piano because that with the sustain pedal, especially on that nineteen seventy-three, I think it is or seventy-four piano tone it just felt it just felt like a real piano it was absolutely crazy so as as you know putting that through something like your main midi keyboard that's going to feel you know weighted keyboard and that will feel tremendous trust me on that so yeah uh thank you very much for the, watching this spotlight review um head to headlinermagazine.net and in the spotlight section there's various 
you know bits of kit we put up every week um the newest and coolest things that we that we like the look of and the sound of of course which is the key um and yeah it's free subscription headlinermagazine.net head on over thank you for your time and uh, we'll see you next time